This is Health 54 right here on your Digital First Pan African News Network TOS television. I am Rose Aldo. The Cancer Cent Treatment Center that cared for Sarah Hardin is planning research partly funded by proceeds raised by the Girls Aloud star who died on Sunday. Hardin released the song Wear It Like a Crown in March to raise money for the Christie Hospital in Manchester. It will fund research into preventing breast cancer among women aged 30 to 39 who have no family history of the disease. Hardin was 39 when she died, a year after being diagnosed. The Christie has also started a crowdfunding campaign for the research. A pharmacologist and representative of the Jewish community in the Iranian parliament on Wednesday said there were at least 500 nationwide cases of mucomycosis, a life-threatening disease commonly known as the black fungus that results from a fungal infection. It was gathered that the rise in cases was due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the use of corticosteroids in COVID treatment. The rare disease generally affects diabetics or those with compromised immune systems, including patients with cancer, HIV and AIDS, and COVID. It develops from an infection caused by mucha mold, which is commonly found in soil, plants, manual, and decaying fruits and vegetables. In humans, it affects the sinuses, the brain, and the lungs, and has an overall mortality rate of 50%. Doctors say mucomycosis can be triggered by steroids used in treating critically ill COVID patients. An epidemic of meningitis has been declared in northeastern uh, DR Congo, where 129 people have died, the World Health Organization said on Wednesday. A total of 261 suspected cases have been recorded so far, amounting to a high case fatality ratio of 50%, Stop the WHO's Africa brand said in a statement. Confirmatory tests carried out by the Institute Prostrue in Paris detected Neuserial meningitis, one of the most frequent types of bacterial meningitis with the potential to cause large epidemics. Meningitis is an infection of the lining surrounding the brain and spinal cord transmitted through respiratory droplets or throat secretions from those infected. The disease is potentially fatal and without treatment can cause neurological damage, especially deafness and mental retardation among young children. One-year-old twin girls who were born conjoined at the back of their heads have seen each other for the first time after undergoing a rare separation surgery in Israel. The 12-hour operation at the Soroka Medical Center in the city of Belsheba last week took months of preparation and includes that the scalp grafts for both. Dozens of experts from Israel and abroad were involved. The girls who have not been named are said to be doing perfectly well. And HCG City Curry Cancer Center in India on Wednesday inaugurated the first of its kind bone marrow transplant unit in the district. Mayor Rayano, Vijayawada Central MLA and Burmin Warfall and Development Corporation Chairman Maladi Vishnu and YSRCP East constituency in charge Devaini Avinash and others inaugurated the equipment in the presence of Healthcare Global Enterprises Limited. CEO Raj Gorel, Director Salesh Guntu and Regional Director Gopichan M. The equipment elector versus HD facilities, clinicians said, it has the flexibility to deliver conventional therapies in treating tumors throughout the body. The HCG has been at the forefront in bringing in cutting-edge technology to fight cancer across the country. This is TOS Television Network and you're watching Health 54. Welcome back. Research has shown that young adult uh, cannabis consumers are at more risk to suffer from a heart attack. The study shows that 
whether you smoke it, vape it, or eat it as an edible, cannabis may be significantly increasing your risk of a heart attack. Adults under 45 years old who consumed cannabis within the last 30 days suffered from nearly double the number of heart attacks than adults who didn't use the drug. According to research published on Tuesday in the Canadian Medical Association Journal, researchers analyzed health data from over 33,000 adults ages 18 to 44 included in U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Surveys in 2017 and 2018. Of the 17% of adults who reported using cannabis within the previous months, 1.3% later had a heart attack, while only 0.8% of non-cannabis users reported the same. Like most other medications, cannabis is metabolized through the liver, which means it has the potential to interact with many cardiovascular medications like blood thinners. And palpable fear has gripped some residents of Ogun State as no fewer than 25 persons died of cholera. The death occurred between Monday and Tuesday following the outbreak of cholera in Maguro in the Obafemi Awode local government area of the state. It was gathered that the cholera outbreak had hit Arakwa, Akaron, Akintonde, Sofalorin, and Abuleoko communities under the Maguro Community Development Committee. The development has created anxiety among the residents of the areas. The State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Tommy Koka, had confirmed the incident on Sunday. And experts have advised that everyone get flu and COVID short as the flu season is here with us. The flu used to be during the winter as the most common respiratory illness that we see, unfortunately associated with significant death in those at risk and elderly as well. As more people have shed their mask, more people are getting infected with other respiratory viruses. According to the healthcare providers, like any other vaccine, some people might experience pain around the side of the injection, you can get some aching, you might get low grade temperature, but really, you never get the virus. You will never get the infection if you get the shots. And the chairman, chief executive officer of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Mohamed Bouba Marwa, retired, has said drugs meant for insurgents worth six billion naira has been intercepted by the agency at the Apapa Court in Lagos. Given details of the seizure while speaking at a media briefing on Wednesday, Marwa said loads of captagon, a brand of amphetamine, were intercepted by the agency's operatives. This is as he condemned the evil intent of those behind the importation of the illicit substance into the country at the time when the nation is facing some security challenges. And the latest data by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, on its Facebook page late Thursday night, showed that River State topped the COVID-19 daily chart with 257 cases, followed by Lagos with 157 cases. The NCDC also reported seven additional deaths with 727 new infections across 17 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. The new cases, according to the Health Center, increased Nigeria's total infections to 197,773, while the fatality toll now stands at 2,585. The agency has noted that the country has successfully treated and discharged 185,597 COVID-19 cases, although 9,591 are still down with the disease. And that is House 54 right here on your Digital First Pan African News Network, TOS Television. For more updates, visit www.torstvnetwork.com. Do follow and like TOS Television Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. Remember, health is wealth. So till I come your way again, do stay healthy. I am Rose Audu and many thanks for watching.